Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? I'm in the same spot, minus the hat, with the wonderful robe on. I hope you have had a great weekend. I just got back from Nebraska and got to see and hug and celebrate our son Caleb's birthday. It just so happens also that a year ago today was when he proposed to his now wife, Lindsay, as well. So they were back for some of her family activities, and we went down for lunch today, and it was just wonderful. So I didn't hop on and talk to you yesterday. I was at a show in Minnesota all day and came home, and then we went right on the road down to Nebraska and got down there really late last night. So it was a blessing to get an extra hour of sleep, right? Comment sleep if you actually got that extra hour of sleep. Hello, thank you for hopping on. Comment sleep if you actually did get that extra hour of sleep. Like I know some have commented they stayed up, you know, uh, like I know Jean said she stayed up until 2 a.m., which is normal for her. Some people stayed up and took advantage of it. Uh, so comment sleep if you got that extra sleep. Um, if you're just catching up, I know we've had lots of people joining the group, which is exciting. We always like to welcome, uh, we do new members on Mondays. So if you've just jumped in, what in the world is going on in Smooth Sisters right now? Well, first of all, it's a big time of year. It's a huge time of year, and there are more decorations out than ever. Some of you may have yours up. I know that um, our daughter's boyfriend mentioned today that his mom was starting to put up her 15 trees today. We've not ever done, I think nine was the max that we have done. But uh, it's a time of year where there just are so many different demands on us besides just life and, you know, hello, still effects of pandemic and everything, right? And so I wanted to make sure that in our sisterhood in here, that we took time for ourselves each week. And so I'm offering encouragement, five-day challenges where it's it's uh, just simple little everyday steps, okay, for us to remember to take care of us. We need to feed ourselves first, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually before we can serve others, whether that's in our job, whether that's as a spouse, whether that is as a mom, as a grandparent, uh, you know, whatever role you play in life, we want to make sure that you are at your best, of course. And so I had been reading, I've read and done a book club on the book, The, the High Five Habit. And I hope some of you took advantage. On Friday, on Friday, it was $1.99. The audiobook was $1.99 on Amazon. I hope some of you hopped on there and took advantage of that. Um, comment book if you have read it or if you did get it and are either listening to it or reading it. Comment book, though, if you have it or are planning to read it and or have read it. So Mel Robbins is, uh, she's the number one sought-after female speaker in the world right now. She has quite an amazing story. Her book, The Five uh, the five Second Rule, where you are counting down five, four, three, two, one, get out of bed, do whatever it is you need to do. Jump off the high dive, whatever that means. Jump out of that plane and parachute, right? Whatever that is, it just doesn't really give your mind a chance to change its mind because the natural progression, five, four, three, two, one, and then we do it. Well, with the high five habit, which is part of our challenge this week, uh, one of the one of the challenges, well, it's a two minute and 37 second start to your day in the morning, okay? Two minutes and 37 seconds. Go ahead and let me know um, how many days you've, and this, this is like no shame, no blame at all. Uh, because, you know, like I said yesterday, I was pretty busy with, with work and then, and travel. Um, so I didn't give it a whole lot of thought, but I have had a personal habit for years. I come in here. This is the office. I sit here. I put my drink down there in the morning. I've got my coffee table right here. The boys are here right now. They're always in here with me and they're they're snuggling up with me right now. They're always in here in the morning when we start our day and my phone doesn't come in here. My phone stays on the nightstand. When I get up tomorrow morning, my alarm will go off at 4.45. I'll go to bar yoga at 5.30. My phone stays face down on my nightstand. I use it as my alarm clock. And in case kids would call an emergency, those are the numbers that will ring. But I get up, I go to bar, I come back, we come in here. And I might be in here until like 9 a.m., you know, just because doing my journaling, my Bible study and stuff, and I don't pick up the phone. So that was one of the steps in the challenge. The two minutes and 37 seconds is to not even look at your phone, okay? And then another one 
that she does talk about in this book is just to calm yourself, just to calm yourself. Sometimes we wake up and our mind starts running with a big list of what we already need to do. And so she encourages you just to kind of just calm yourself, put your hand on your heart and tell yourself, you know, whatever mantra she suggests, I'm okay, I'm safe, and I'm loved. And it and it connects with this whole big, all the way up to your brain, the Venus, whatever it's called technically, just really connects and gets you set for the day. Another one that she, she suggests is just to move your body. So you're just moving your body for um, just a, a little bit of time in place. She suggests maybe you could hold a plank. Even if you just you know step in place, do high knees. Um, one of the things that I do do immediately is brushing my teeth. So I could like do a little bit of walking in place while I'm doing that. And then also putting on your exercise clothes. Okay, and if it's not the time of the day when you exercise, at least think, check in your, with yourself. Okay, what is the time today that I've set aside to move my body? Because when we move our body, we change our mind. There's so much truth to that. When I'm in here in the afternoon, if I'm having a slump, I just go ahead and I put on Justin Timberlake or something like that. The other day, it actually was Mariah Carey. I started listening to that already, and it really helps me move my body. But the other one in there that you might think, what are you talking about in this book? The high five habit is literally doing the high five. Like why would we do the high five? And so I wanna just give you a little bit of information out of the book here, especially if you haven't had the chance to read it. She says the high five habit is not a gesture. It's not a gesture, it's just self-validation. As soon as your hand, hit, oh, by the way, she, uh, uh, with habits, okay. With habits, there's a great book uh, about habits by Charles Duhigg, and he always talks about stacking a habit on a habit that you already are doing that's beneficial. So, brushing your teeth. No, most of us are at our mirror in our bathroom or wherever you're at, brushing your teeth. There's probably a mirror where you can high five yourself. Like, did you just see my eyes change? Like, when I go and high five myself, I I can't like I can't help but like boom, I get that smile and my eyes kind of light up. So she suggests that you do. The high five, and there's there's billions of people, it, well, millions, maybe not billions, but millions for sure doing this in the world now. Like this is a global thing. And so high-fiving yourself, stacking it on a habit next to something else, okay? Hello, Teresa. Hello, Miss Sylvia. Thanks for jumping on, ladies. Wonderful to see you. So you want to do it, and that's why she suggests uh, pairing it together in the morning. So the high five is not a gesture. It's a self-validation. So she said... Um, she said that um, when your hand slaps the mirror, you feel seen, heard, and appreciated. Like we are doing this for ourselves. As soon as your hand hits that mirror, your mood isn't the only thing that's shifted. Your perspective gets a shift too. It makes you think about what bigger game you want to play today, okay? Right now, you know, it's kind of like, like Rocky, uh, Rocky Balboa or at the end of The Breakfast Club, there's that scene, okay? Comment club. If you've watched the movie The Breakfast Club, I want you to comment club. There's the scene at the very end where he's cheering and his hand goes up. It would be kind of like that, right? And so he said, stand in, she says, stand in front of the mirror, and this, so remember, we're going to stack this habit. If you haven't done it the last two days, we still have three more days on this challenge, and then we'll do something else as well. Uh, remember, we start on Fridays. We start our five-day challenges on Fridays. This month, we're going to do three leading up to uh, Black Friday, and they are fabulous Fridays, okay? So stand in front of the mirror, and normally you'd be like looking at yourself, like looking at a zit or looking at a wrinkle or your hair or how tired you still feel. Let's be honest, right? Drop me some hearts. If that's part of what happens for you in the morning, drop me some hearts, okay? And so she says, you start focusing on everyone and everything else. We tank emotionally. When you practice the high five, you think about what you want to do for yourself. How do you want to show up today? Who do you want to be? What is the one personal project that you need to make some progress on for yourself? Okay, so it really, really makes a difference. I started reading this book and I wasn't even doing the high five at first. I felt so ridiculous. It felt so silly to me. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm always going to be honest with you. But I can tell you, like I just did a moment ago, like when I when I come in for the high five, my eyes light up and a smile starts coming on my face. And when I know, when I'm stacking positive habits, when I know I'm brushing my teeth and that's when I need to do the high five, that I'm not looking at anything else I see, think, or feel 
that is distracting, that is putting a negative tone on that day. You might need to put a sticky note on your mirror. You might take an Expo marker. Heck, my makeup ladies in here, you might take a lipstick or a lip gloss or a lip liner and outline your hand on your mirror. Whatever it takes, I want you to try and do it because it does make a difference. And when you do it over several days and weeks at a time, things are going to stack and build up. I did flag another little part in here to share with you, but I think we'll go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. So I don't keep you too long this evening, but I hope that you are participating at whatever level works for you. I really, really, really challenge you to not pick up your phone first thing. You know, unless you're on call and you've been paged, okay, try not to pick up your phone first thing. I dare you to make sure you get yourself high-fived in the mirror in the morning before you even touch that phone. It will definitely make a difference in your life. It absolutely will, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Hi, Sarah. I see you're just hopping on. I'm going to uh, wrap it up now for tonight. Tomorrow, if you've opted in, if you've texted the number at the top in the group here, the 605-309, I think it's like 8945, look at that. Text the word first to that number. Tomorrow, I found out tonight, all of us stylists, and if you're stylists, do not share, okay? Do not share in my group here. Um, I will send out the text tomorrow with the first Black Friday, okay? Black November, Pink November, whatever we want to call it, the very first deal that was announced to us tonight. It'll be available at 12.01 a.m. Pacific. That's 2.01 a.m. time here in South Dakota. This girl's going to be to sleep because, you know, I'll, I have to get up for bar yoga in the morning, okay? So I'll let you know tomorrow. And so I'm only going to send the text to the ones that opted in. I don't want to be all spammy and like, oh my gosh, here she comes. She's telling us about something else. That's not who I am, but I know some of you want to know. And if you're like me, we're getting this shopping done early. And ladies, it's okay to shop for your husband. Like I've decided... I want some like Sperry Duck boots. And Mr. Stratmon will totally appreciate if I get those boots, let him wrap them up, and he knows I'm getting exactly what I want. It works out just perfect. So like like the robe, like the slippers, like the new gorgeous cami or, or the new velour suit. Oh my gosh, I ordered the velour suit and it's coming. Anyway, my point is I'm not going to send out salesy text messages to everybody because this is going to happen every Monday and on Black Friday, Small Business Saturday. And I myself am also going to be offering some personal bundles to you as well. So if you want to make sure you get a hold of those, make sure you have texted the word first. I know several of you have. Sarah, you already have. I know Trisha, you already have to the number up on the banner if that interests you. If not, keep showing up here. We're going to keep doing our challenges. So we started Saturday morning. Today is only day two. Find the announcements in the group here and take a look at the slides from the author of this book that we're talking about this month. And I dare you all to high five yourself before you even touch your phone tomorrow. Thanks so much for listening, ladies. Love to you all. Bye-bye.